Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Reckless Riley, and today we're looking at Alpine Pass by Private Parts. Now, Private Parts, if you've not heard of them before, has been making race maps since Halo Reach. At least that's how far back I knew him. I think he even made things in Halo 3, but either way, he's been making race maps for a very long time, and he's made all different types of race maps roller coasters, double wides, and he's brought us kind of a mix today. Now this track, just by looking at it, you can tell it is a double wide track, you can play this with other people beside you and race across it, and I'll get back to that as kind of a more competitive part. Um, what I'd like to look at first is that this track is not just a standard double wide as you'd see. Uh, this track actually brings in a few elements from a roller coaster that you'd find. Um, the very first one to note is that there's a big jump near the very end that is actually really, really impressive. Uh, he makes it look like an actual jump. He's got the stands and everything uh, as if these things were being held up by gravity. And the, and the jump itself is actually really good. It makes you feel that you're going off a real jump because it... Uh, it curves you upward in the air by using the final block using a race technique that makes it so that your car will actually turn upward in the air like you would if you're going off an actual jump and land very very smoothly um, this doesn't work 100% of the time I found if you die just before going off the jump you'll find that it's difficult to go off it unless you go really really fast or go backwards a little bit or go off the right um, but if you're if you don't fall off before it in between that checkpoint part it works perfectly fine um, going back to the more competitive aspect of this, uh, when you're playing with people, it's actually really interesting. Uh, when you're playing on this, it's really, really fun to try and go against other people and try and beat them. Especially since when you're racing on it, he's got a couple of turns in here, especially the really, really hard to do corkscrew turn. Uh, which is very difficult, even with trying to drift it. Um, getting around there because it's a, it's just a difficult part in general, unless you kind of stop and then go. Uh, when you're playing with other people, though, that's a really good spot to try and pass somebody or try and go after them because it requires a lot of maneuvering and overall just a lot of good race technique. This track in general, though, isn't too difficult. You'll find that there's really just two parts to this one or two, uh, the corkscrew and kind of more around the uh, more terrain areas are harder to stay on, but they're not difficult in the way that it's, it's bad. They're difficult more in the way that you won't get it on your first time. When I first tried this track, I went around three laps, and my first two laps, I kind of just screwed up in general. My third lap, I did better, and then racing on again, I found that I was very, very good at it. So it's kind of just a matter of knowing the track first, then getting better at it, and then getting better at on top of that. Going to the final part of this map, I have to say, man, he did a really good job with the aesthetics. Looking around this track, you can tell there are a ton of trees, a ton of different islands, and overall, just kind of like this big bay with a ton of stuff around that is really, really beautiful. Even the stuff that you don't, don't go to. He has an island that you don't even go on to whatsoever. And just moving over to that island when I was re recording the clips in theater, I just was very impressed that he made an overall beautiful landscape for everywhere around this track. And he didn't just focus on making this a good track. Obviously, he did. But he focused on making this aesthetically pleasing. And he definitely, definitely uh, was successful in doing that. I have to say he did a really good job with this map, and I'm impressed that he was able to get this many trees on the map without getting any frame rate whatsoever, at least in my single player playtests. Um, overall, this is a really great map, and I, you guys should definitely check it out. It'll be in Private Parts File Share. Of course, we don't have a file share right now, so you're going to probably have to friend him online. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like more videos like this, please post in the comment section below. I'm a little tired, so my voice might not sound normal. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys had a great Christmas and are looking forward to the new year. Anyway, guys, I'm Reckless Riley, and I'll see you later.